university is a big step and without the right information it can seem pretty scary. My name's Kirsten Leckie, a business student at Ulster University. In this series I investigate some of the biggest questions students have when researching their university options. Join me as I explore everything from perfecting your UCAS application, surviving the transition from school and getting your head around student finance. Today, I'm delving into the move from school to university. And although this is an exciting time for many students, it's also nerve wracking too. Learning how to adult isn't something they teach you at school. So how do students adapt to this change? To find out, I'm meeting two Ulster University students. Rory, a second year student, and Kira, a final year sports student. I'll hear all about their university experience including the emotions of their first few weeks and how they dealt with the independence of student life. Adjusting to university life can be challenging. As a student myself, I'm aware of the changes students face when they move from school to university. At the time, I was excited, but I was also a little nervous too. I remember my first day going from a classroom full of friends to start in a brand new chapter in my life. I'm going to meet Rory, a second year drama student at the McGee campus to hear his university journey. So Rory, thank you so much for joining us today. The first question I have for you, so you're in second year, second year student, I guess you're halfway through your journey at Ulster University. What was your thoughts and feelings before you joined us and before you started your Ulster University journey? I didn't really have that many thoughts. So maybe that was maybe like a good thing there for me there because yeah, I'd rather just learn my own experiences there, but at the same time, you know, getting like, you know, the help when needed there from my lecturers there, from my time for doing drama there. And that's, you know, one of the best things that I still feel so I'm learning something every day there. And I can relate as well to that, I guess, because although I was quite nervous and a bit worried and a bit anxious before I joined, you very quickly settled in and got used to university life, I guess. And a lot of people, that'll probably be on their mind. They are a bit worried, but the support's there if they need it. And they very quickly just settle in, and I guess it just becomes everyday life, really. So from a student's perspective, what would you say are the noticeable differences from school life to university life? In terms of, you know, their social interactions there, you know, with other students there who is doing the same course as you, they have the same enjoyment though, of doing the, in the course so that you had loved doing it and what, that was your reason why you wanted to do that course. And with like 10 or 15 people in, in the same course as me, and we all love drama there, so we can easily you know, get along with each other, both inside and outside of campus. So from that aspect there, that's probably one of the biggest differences you know, from being at school and to being at university now. For me, one of, the, one of the main changes was the size of the class. You know, I was going from maybe 10, 15 students, like you are in drama at uni, to go on to maybe 150 students in a lecture hall. That was one of the big changes for me. Even walking into a lecture theatre, you know, I was like, Oh my goodness, it nearly takes your breath away. And that's actually quite a refreshing example, you know, and a story, I guess, from a student's perspective. And I guess it'll probably relieve a little bit of stress from students hearing from a student and knowing that the support's there. And I guess probably in most cases, a simple hello or just saying hi. Yeah, exactly. Will help you fit in and make your transition from school to university as smooth as it can be, really. But that's all the questions I have for you. So thank you so much for your time. Thank you. What was most refreshing about my conversation with Rory is that there's nothing he would change about his university journey. I guess it's just accepting that going to university is a big thing and embracing that change. I'm now going to meet Kira, who's in her final year. Unlike Rory, she's coming towards the end of her journey at Ulster University. Hi Kira, so thank you very much for joining us today. So the first question I have for you, obviously people will be able to tell you're from Glasgow. How did you feel moving from your city to a complete new one? A bit nervous at first, obviously like moving in day to DSV was a bit strange, didn't really know anybody. But I was familiar with the area because I've got family from Donegal, so that's what made my choice to come here. I'd played Gaelic football, so I thought if I came here to study sport, it would be a kind of natural progression. So. I was looking forward to it, obviously nervous, but when you get into DSV and you kind of got to know people, there was all the activities set up, so within like a few days you'd met loads of people. So you mentioned GAA there and sports and activities and stuff. You are 
into you know heavy sports or into all of your games and stuff like that there so did that help you settle in whenever you joined Ulster University or what way did that work going from playing that at home to playing it at uni? Yeah so within the first week so there was the fre Freshers Fair on in the student hall in the first week so went there and signed up for the Gaelic teams and then by the next I think it was the Monday or the Wednesday or something like that training started and you went to training and there was like 40 odd girls there so there's people who were first year new ones like yourself who were nervous to get started and then people had already been there so you get chatting to everybody and within a few weeks you were going out with them and you knew them all quite well because you were playing twice a week with them going to games on buses and things so you've just become quite close. So I guess probably you were very nervous but I guess that helped you settle in a yeah, little bit. You know? Yeah, it really helped settle you in, just getting to know people and things like that. So you've been at the university for four years now, so what have you learned about yourself? How have you grown? I'd probably say I've become a lot more confident. I think that would be mostly from moving away from home. You know, I've not had to rely on my family. I've had to become more confident anyway, get to know people, become more outgoing. I already was. I'd be quite chatty and outgoing before that, but I'd say that has helped a lot. I guess probably independence has a lot uh, to do yeah. with it as well. Definitely. You don't have your mum to set your alarm or set your I wake you up and make sure you're going to 9am lectures. It's kind of all up to you and if you miss them, you miss them. So if you were to do it all over again, what would you maybe do differently or what would you tell yourself if you were in sixth form or maybe starting your first few weeks at university? Just so I took a year out between school and going to university just because I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. Just go for it, like you're going to have a great time not to be scared about it because you are going to make friends and there are going to be people who are like you who you're going to get to know and just go for it. I guess it's probably just believing in yourself as yeah, well, you know. Just having a bit more confidence to just put yourself out there and meet new people. That's all the questions I have for you. I guess it would be interesting students hearing someone coming, you know, moving away from home and settling in and accommodation and stuff and also knowing that not everybody knows straight away what they want to do when they leave school. So thank you very much. That was That's all I have for you. No problem at all. Thank you. What struck me most from my conversation with Kira was the fact that she had moved from Glasgow to over here in Northern Ireland. For many that can seem quite a scary and daunting experience but Kira didn't let that hold her back. As Kira said, just go for it. My chat with Rory and Kira has opened my eyes into the different challenges and experiences students face in their journey from school to university. What was most interesting is how we all felt exactly the same. In reality, we're all on the same journey. The transition from school to university isn't always a smooth one and for some can be a learning curve. With dedicated support services, there's always someone to help you through times of uncertainty. Familiarising yourself with your new home and campus before starting university can help you adjust faster when you arrive. Don't feel embarrassed to reach out for help. However you get here, there's lots of people feeling the same mixture of emotions. So a simple hello can be all it takes to make new friends and settle in.